This is third grade Gobe math lesson 2.7 and today we are using and making line plots. So the directions up here say use the data in the table to make a line plot. Here's the table over here and we should see it tells us how many shirts were sold at each price. So you have prices here and then how many sold for each price. So for instance uh, there were shirts that were $11 only one of those sold. Um, there are shirts that are $15, zero of those sold, $16, two of those sold. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this information and bring it over to this line plot over here. So I see um, for 11, there's one sold. So I'm going to put one X here. And then for 12, four. So four X's. Six for $13. Six, four for fourteen dollars. Zero for fifteen and two at sixteen dollars. All right, so they've done the first one for you. How many shirts sold for twelve dollars? And we look over here. One, two, three, four. Um, it's also shown on the table over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look down. I'm going to skip down to number four and do another one on the bottom. Um, how many shirts were sold for $13 or more? So, of course, you're going to include the ones that were $13, which uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them were. But we're also going to add the ones that were priced higher than that and include those. So we had six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 12 um, shirts. go all right um, and let's look at number five were more Schultz no were more shirts sold for less than thirteen dollars or more or more than thirteen dollars okay for less than thirteen dollars so it says less than didn't say thirteen dollars and less it said less than thirteen so I would look I'm not gonna look I'm gonna look at thirteen cover that up and look what else I have I have eleven and twelve dollars and it looks like we have four for 12 and one for 11, so that's five. So I would just make a mark here, so that's five. And that's fine to write on your, at least for my students, fine to write on this to help it make sense for you, especially answering the questions. And then more than $13, and say $13 or more, it says more than $13. So um, we're gonna go ahead and look up here and look at more than $13. And we see that there's um, four that were sold for $14 and there's two sold for 16. So that uh, four plus two makes six. So six is greater, i make these as well. So these were sold for, so six of these were sold for more than $13. So we would explain, we would say more shirts six were sold for more than thirteen dollars only five shirts sold for less than 13 and that is how we use and make line plots